Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our first fighter, Eric Carrera. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Shamrock Fighting Championships 356. Jeremy Johnson along tonight with Bellator veteran Adam Meredith, and we are going to start the evening with a submission-only grappling match. Now, coming to the cage right now is Eric Carrera. Now, Eric trains alongside some of the toughest at St. Charles MMA. He was originally supposed to have a different type of fight tonight, but things happen. His opponent dropped. He is ready to go with a grappling match this evening. And his opponent, Austin Nickin. Making his way to the cage by way of Finney's MMA, it is Austin Midkiff. Now, Austin literally took this grappling match today. He said that I am here to help out, and he was here to corner, actually, and said, you know what, yeah, I am ready for a grappling match this evening. Let's do it up. Yeah, you know, Austin has a ton of experience, so, I mean, stepping in here last minute, what a warrior. Both of these guys have a lot of experience in the world of combat sports. And really the grappling matches have kind of caught on. It's been, it's kind of the next big thing in the way of combat sports is the idea of the submission only. So if they do not get a submission within three minutes, then the fight is over and declared a draw. Yeah, but the beauty of submission only, it leads to a lot of action. Ladies and gentlemen, Tonight's opening contest is a submission grappling contest. One three minute round. The only way to emerge from this cage victorious is to submit your opponent within the allotted three minute time limit. If there is no submission at the end of the round, this match is declared a draw. Introducing competitor number one on my right fighting tonight out of the FM roofing blue corner. He stands six feet, one inch tall, and weighed in 159.6 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Eric Carrera! Across the cage, his opponent fighting tonight out of the first form red corner. He stands six feet, one inch tall, and weighed in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Fairview Heights, Illinois, Austin, the Spider, Midkiff. Both of these guys, big show of respect here. Into the action. Nice shoulder shuck there coming out of Carrera. Midkiff trying to tie up here, trying to force that head down. Really, position is everything in the world of grappling. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you definitely want to fight for position. You only got three minutes, though, so I mean, the idea is you want to try to get it down to the ground as fast as possible and, and get to work. Ooh, Austin, Austin jumps for it. Nice little scramble there. Jumps guard Carrera, able to stand back up. Oh, big flying arm bar. They're keeping it exciting. Again, that's the beauty. But you don't have to worry about points or positioning. You can just go for it. Carrera almost looking for a foot sweep there. Drops down for the takedown. Austin steps away. Now, something you don't typically see, though, in grappling matches is, is the, the cage, right? Right. So that definitely plays an interesting piece to it. Midkiff again trying to lock in that guillotine. You know, he's in half guard here. He still has the, the possibility of finishing this. If Eric is able to, to pass, he's going to lose his, his he's leverage. But Lots of excitement here again. Eric for another, <laughs> going for their flying technique there. 
I like to see that they're at least going after it, not, yes. to, not trying to play it safe. Like they know they only have three minutes. Let's let's get some work done. Yeah, we are already down here to just a minute and ten seconds remaining in the match. Both of these guys trying to fight for that underhook position, and now we see a collar tie up here out of Carrera. Little double leg there, underhook by Austin. Stops the takedown, but again, you got that cage which. Gives yeah, the Eric cage. The opportunity to still work a takedown. Yeah, the cage plays a, a real role into this. Both of these guys very experienced mixed martial arts fighters. Oh, Carrera trying to drop down there, grabbing that ankle. Down to 30 seconds remaining. Oh, Austin on the run. Now grabs that arm. Carrera, nice roll there by Midkiff, looking for that arm. Big smile on Austin's face. <laughs> <laughs> Same with Eric, they're both just smiling. They went and had some fun. Very entertaining match. The people's elbow at the end puts a stamp on this one here is our first grappling match at Shamrock FC 356. Jeremy Johnson along tonight with Bellator veteran Adam Meredith, also Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, entrepreneur, general all around nice guy. So kind of you, Jeremy. You're the man. <laughs> a beautiful one, but let's send this one up to Joe Parisi to make it official. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as we come to the close of this three-minute matchup, there was no submission, so therefore this match is officially declared a draw. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a quick explanation. Eric Carrera showed up tonight ready to rematch Ernest Bolt. Ernest weighed in, everything was good, and he got sick backstage an hour ago. And Austin Midkiff, who was here to corner Lucas Lopes, stepped up on one hour's notice. Thank you, gentlemen. Very nice of Austin to step up there on an hour's notice, getting Eric Carrera a much needed matchup here. But we still have more action to come, and we'll be right back right here at Shamrock Fighting Championships. <laughs>